Okay. Um, <clears throat> really getting closer to finishing up the week, and um, I feel a lot of excitement amongst the players to get back out on the field. You know, as much as you practice, as much as you prepare, I'm still not like getting back out there for the game and um, getting over last week. So, at the same time, we still have a lot of work to do. I think the guys have worked extremely hard, and um, we're excited to get back out there. We'll clean some things up and get ready to go for an early kickoff. Oh, yeah? How do you think Cody's doing after a week as the guy? Uh, I think Cody, I was going to have a funny joke about the cell phone, but I didn't say it. Um, Cody's had a really good week, really prepared really well. Um, I think he's meshing with uh, all the skilled guys and expecting to play really well. How about Max? How is, uh, how is he kind of reacted to what's happened? I think he's, he's done really well, you know, and he can only worry about what he can control. And that's the reps that he gets, and that's the preparation, and be ready to go, and um, I know he will be. You haven't seen any signs of hanging his head or not necessarily? Not at all. I think he's done a great job. You know, obviously you look for that to happen, and um, he's really, really done a really good job. Cody seems like a guy that the other guys just kind of rally around just naturally. Is that, is that fair to say? Um, I think that's fair to say. You know, I think the guys like him. Um, you know, he's a great kid, fun to be around, and um, I, yeah, I think the players definitely like him. Is the goal this week for Cody basically go you know, wire to wire, finish up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's um, anytime you're starting quarterback, you know, you want him to, to have a great game, and um, hopefully he will. You've heard, you know, people talk about how you want the, you know, they want you to open the offense up. Obviously, you do play very aggressive on defense. Is it? Difficult to have a very aggressive offense and defense at the same time as far as you know, fatigue or game plan or anything like that, or is it really just about what works for you on each side of the ball individually? Well, we've had it before. You know, we were at one time here, you know, we had a great offense and a great defense at the same time, and, you know, obviously that went a long ways to winning 34 straight, you know, throughout time there. Um, so that, that's ideal. Uh, you know, I, I don't enjoy uh, calling the game, you know, the way that, that it was the other day. You know, I just felt that was the best thing for us to win. It's not about me. It's about winning. So um, that, that's not ideal. You know, I, I'd, I'd love to, you know, throw the ball downfield all day long and score 50 points. You know, but I don't know that, the, that at times that's the best thing for this team. What was Cody? What was probably the biggest thing that Cody's learned, just in terms of facing coverage where they drop eight like they watched as they did. I, I think just in general, Cody played. You know, he hasn't played for a long time. Um, you know, what, three years since he's played football, and now he finally got to play some and make some mistakes, you know, like everybody does. And, and you know, he's going to learn from those and grow from those and play better. He doesn't yeah. seem to, me, no, um, to have some problems kind of getting going offensively, especially in third quarter after halftime. Why do you think that's been kind of a trend for you guys? Well, I think in general, um, we, haven't, we haven't played really well on offense in general on any, any quarter. So um, I don't think that it's necessarily one quarter. You know, I mean, you know, offense, you know, offense drives down and misses a field goal. You know, the offense didn't miss the field goal, or you'd say, yeah, hey, hey, good first drive. You know, so um, other things go into that. I, I don't think it has to do with um, we're better coaches in the first quarter than the third quarter. You know, we just we got to coach better and play better. Do you have reason to believe, or should we believe, that going into this game, obviously you're not going to give us the game plan, but when we watch this game, we'll have a different feeling about the game plan you put together because I know you talk about the matchups but will this be a different looking game to watch I don't know that you know it'll depend on how the game's going um, you know our goal is to win the game and you know we'll get a feel for how the game's going on that day how our quarterbacks playing um, how our lines blocking you know you can never you can never really predict how the game's going to go regardless of, of how much work you do before the game talking about Boston offensive? College is a very physical team and that's how they like to play they run the ball a lot um, Fair to say, it's, it's different than what you see from a lot of the Pac-12. How, how do you guys prepare and practice for that? How do you get them to think a little differently than the usual Pac-12 opponent likes to hear it out more than what they do? Yeah, well, I think what's been good, you know, is that uh, we've given our guys looks over spring and over fall of, you know, multiple tight ends, multiple backs type looks. So uh, they, they do see a lot of that throughout practice. Uh, so I don't think it's that difficult of adjustment as it would be if we were a spread offense. How difficult of a week has this been? coming off this loss compared to maybe other bad losses experienced here for the team? So. Yeah, it's not been easy, um, you know, but you just go back to work. Worry about what you can control, you know. Um, we can only get to 2-1. and one. No matter what we do, um, we can't get to 3-0. and oh. It is impossible. And, you know, our players and our, I make sure our players and coaches understand that they cannot get the game back. You know, so there's no use continuing to sit around talking about it. Um, our, we got to get to 2-1 and one, and then, then worry about the next opponent after that. Do you think you're 
offensive lines coming along at this point? Yeah, I think they did some really good things over the last two weeks, um, you know, running the ball. Uh, for some guys that aren't necessarily that experienced at the position they've been playing, some of them um, have gone in there, and, and I think that they showed some improvement, um, you know, in, in an area that was a big concern for us. How does the 24-hour rule apply to using a bad taste in the team's mouth as a motivating factor? Like, hey, we don't want to go through that again. Yeah, I don't know how that. I don't know how that really works very much. You know, to continue to bring up the game and the bad taste and everything. You know, that for me as a coach, I have to remember they're going to get that on the outside all the time anyway. You know. We can't control all the, the kids in their class, their families that are still talking about the last game in the media. We can't control that. So um, the last thing I need to do is keep banging these guys in here about the game and, and bringing it up. De Deion's a guy that's kind of always been around the ball. Is that a natural skill, or is that something that he's kind of developed throughout his football playing time? Well, we saw that in high school. You know, saw him make some really good plays on the ball. and. Um, Really thought he was just a great playmaker, playmaker no matter where he was going to play. At the time, we thought safety, and then he got it and he moved him outside backer, and now back to a hybrid safety and outside backer. He just has a knack for making plays, and you know that's what recruiting's about. You know, we can coach all we want, but there's sometimes certain guys make plays and certain guys don't, and that's you know that's what recruiting is to figure out. Let's do one more. After last week, what's the, the biggest point of emphasis been for? Uh, the offense. What was the thing that you would like to see the most from your offense Saturday? Productive, um, efficient passing game. You know, um, once again, uh, you know, as as we diagnose what happened in that game, um, we we threw the ball extremely poor. You know, we didn't lose 50 to nothing and got nine million problems. We have to figure out. We played lights out defense. We ran the ball plenty well enough to win. Um, and we didn't. You know, we we were not efficient at all in the passing game. So that's our goal to fix that.